Getting the upper hand. Firefighters trying to snuff out the 30th Avenue fire in Collier County before this dry weather picks up. The fire has burned through more than 7,000 acres, hit 65% contained tonight. Some residents finally settling back into their homes after an evacuation order was lifted last night. Four and a quarter out of Pittsburgh, live tonight in Collier County with the latest. Adam? Yeah, Patrick, Amy, I just want to show you exactly how far this fire traveled. The Forestry Service says eight miles. It came from the east, Golden Gate, and scorched the earth in its path, coming all the way to this man's front yard here in eastern Collier County, almost making it to his doorstep. And he tells me tonight he's very lucky. You see the fire coming from that way, but it's coming fast. Guillermo Perez's rural home in southeast Collier County was right in the path of the raging 30th Avenue fire. The fire department stopped the fire over there going around my home, working hard. But Perez, who survived several years in one of Fidel Castro's prisons, didn't think he would make it out of his neighborhood alive. This is like uh, you see you're going to die, and you see it coming by, from you. And he had just seconds to grab his dogs, bird, and his wife and pile into a car. No opportunity for sinking nothing. The only you need move. Perez spent two nights in his car during the evacuation, and during that time, one of his dogs died because of the trauma. The animal said, "Do you have animal?" They said, "Like a fa your family." But Perez says he is forever grateful to the firefighters who stopped this massive blaze just a few feet from his home. And I see these fighting men like uh, angels. And Patrick, Amy, tonight the breezes have picked up just a little bit. That's concerning the firefighters who were trying to put this out before the warm and uh, the cool and windy weather comes back to this area. So we'll stay on top of it. Reporting live from Collier County, Adam Pinsker, Fox 4 in your corner.